Hi there, with the new year starting off, I want to address a question that I know is burning in a lot of people's minds right now. What new Kindle updates will we see in 2023? What new Kindles will come out? What kind of software updates will we see? In today's video, I'll be sharing four predictions I have for 2023. Now before sharing these predictions, I want to introduce you to a friend I have who is named Faiz Ali. He is also a YouTuber making content about Kindles, digital reading, as well as other really cool tech topics. If you haven't seen his work before, I strongly recommend checking it out. FaZe, thank you so much for being here and helping me make this video. Well, thank you so much for having me on your channel, Manit. I absolutely love the Kindle. You and I both really love the Kindle, I should say. And I'm super excited to be on your channel talking about it. Yes, I love that I finally have another YouTuber friend who can geek out about Kindles with. Surprisingly, those kind of people are really hard to find. So thanks for being here, FaZe. The way this will work is we're going to share two predictions each. I will share two of mine, and then FaZe will share two of his. FaZe, I'll let you kick things off. What is your first prediction for this year? So the first prediction of the year is a fourth generation Kindle Oasis. This was something that we technically should have seen last year, but we didn't for whatever reason. There were a lot of rumors and speculation out there that Amazon was indeed working on a fourth generation Kindle Oasis and was slated to release last year, but because of chip shortages and just a lot of other delays, the Kindle Scribe ended up coming out a lot later than Amazon had anticipated. So they had to put all the marketing and their you know, limelight towards the Kindle Scribe uh, for the latter half of last year. But anyways, I think 2023 is going to be the year of the Kindle Oasis because we already saw a big upgrade with the Kindle Paperwhite in the latter half of 2021. We got an upgrade to the Kindle Basic last year and we got an all new Kindle Scribe. So this year makes the perfect sense for a all new Kindle Oasis because I think it's time for an upgrade because a lot of the things that I noticed when the Kindle Paperwhite came out was that the Kindle Paperwhite has technically more features than the Kindle Oasis, yet the Kindle Oasis is that flagship Kindle. Um, so a lot of things didn't add up. For example, the Kindle Paperwhite has wireless charging. The Kindle Oasis does not. It has USB-C. The Kindle Oasis is not. Wireless charging, I'm not too sure about because Amazon didn't bring wireless charging to the Kindle Basic, nor did they bring it to the Kindle Scribe. But I think the biggest feature of the Kindle Oasis is going to be the display. I think the beauty of the Kindle Oasis is the display. When the new 2021 Kindle Paperwhite launched, they increased the screen size to 6.8 inches. Now that's very close to the seven inch display of the Kindle Oasis. And the Kindle Oasis is known for having a larger screen anyways. So now you have a device that almost has the same screen size as the flagship device. And I'm gonna leave the scribe out of it because it's a different kind of a device. It's more of a note-taking device than an e-reader. So I'm just gonna Put that aside, um, but I do think that there aren't that many differences currently between the Paperwhite and the Oasis, and I think with a better display, with more pixels per inch, better LED lights, a faster display, I think all of the, a larger display, I think all of those things will make a big difference with the overall Oasis experience. So that's what I'm uh, you know, predicting for the 2023 Kindle Oasis. Thanks so much. I totally agree with all of that. The Kindle Oasis was the first Kindle I bought way back in 2020. And I have to say, it's still one of my favorite Kindles to this day. And it's just missing a few of those major feature upgrades like USB-C, maybe even a nicer screen to make it better than the Kindle Paperwhite. We'll have to see what happens this year. Thanks so much for sharing that prediction. Now that actually brings me to our second prediction for this video, which is my thoughts on future software updates for the new Kindle Scribe that just came out late last year. Now something that's a bit different than we're used to is actually Amazon confirming a few software updates that we know for sure we should expect in 2023. If you go to the Kindle Scribe product page, you'll actually see a coming soon section for software updates. Some of the things listed there is a native integration with Microsoft Word, some new brushes for writing and drawing, as well as a copy and paste functionality, and also some new organization layout for notebooks. Now, even though we'll be seeing these updates come out this year for sure, as confirmed by Amazon, I really hope to see a few other ones as well. The first one on my list is the ability to convert handwritten text 
to digital text. This to me is an essential feature for the Kindle Scribe. Right now, every single time you take a note, it's only in a handwritten format, especially if you're writing something while reading a book or PDF. It only comes up in a handwritten way. I really want the ability for the Scribe to transcribe what I write into actual text that I could then copy and paste into other tools. The way it is right now is just not very usable. Another update that I would really hope to see from the Scribe this year are more export options for your notes and markups. Right now, the only way you can do this is exporting your notes and markups via email as a PDF, which is very useless in my opinion. Again, along with the handwritten text conversion, I think some more options for exporting your notes, maybe as a document file for editing or anything like that would make things a lot more functional for the scribe. And the last software prediction I have for the Kindle scribe is something that I'm actually really shocked is not already there. And that is the ability to mark up books that you buy from the Kindle store. As it stands right now, if you read a Kindle book that you purchase from Amazon on your Kindle scribe, there is no way to mark it up directly. All you can do is leave sticky notes on the page, but you cannot actually write in the margins or circle things or underline things. That functionality is only reserved for PDFs that you manually download to your Kindle. This actually blows my mind because you can go to the internet, buy an ebook somewhere else online in a PDF format, then send that PDF to your Kindle, and you'll have so much more functionality on the scribe with the book that you purchased elsewhere compared to Amazon's own store. Store. So I really hope they figure out a way to allow the markup ability on native Kindle books. Faze, let me throw it back over to you. What's your next prediction for this year? So the next prediction that I have for 2023 is that I think this will be the year that Amazon finally introduces Kindle Color. Now, will it be called Kindle Color or something else? Only time will tell. But I do think that we'll finally see Color e-ink being brought to you by Amazon. And the reason why I believe that is because there's been a lot of innovation that's been happening with color e-ink displays lately. We have this new technology called Gallery 3. And a lot of devices are actually utilizing this new display technology and it's, and it's working. Like people are actually seeing products out there in the market with this Gallery 3 screen technology. And it's nice. The colors are nice. Obviously it's never gonna be as vibrant or saturated like with a LCD display. But, we, the, but the fact that we are seeing improvements in this space is very you know, nice to know. And this is a big deal because ever since Amazon you know, launched the Kindle, it's always been a black and white display, always. And I think you know, finally, if we get color on Kindle, this is gonna be big. I mean, a lot of people, especially with the Kindle Scribe now, people are now gonna be utilizing this device for more than just reading. It's gonna be great for documents and reviewing documents and editing documents and it'd be so cool to actually see color in those documents or even magazines or comic books that people like to read. I think color is going to be a game changer for Kindle and I feel like over the past few years you know Kindles have been great and I love Kindles obviously but I feel like we need something groundbreaking and I think color will be that thing. Wow, thank you so much for that one. I definitely agree that if Amazon makes a Kindle Color, it would be a very big deal. Definitely think it would become the new industry standard as well as they typically do with all their Kindles. I think this would also be a very big deal for comic book readers like you mentioned, also manga readers, anyone who reads colored books, this would definitely be a very big selling point. So that brings me to my final Kindle prediction for 2023, which are some general software updates across all the current Kindles that were made in the recent five years. The way things work in the tech industry is a lot of these big companies are required to maintain support for their devices for at least a few years, if not five years after sending them out for shipment. So the new Kindles that just come out in recent years, as long as they're within that five year time period, will continue to get these software updates and continue to be supported by Amazon. Now the first prediction I have in terms of a general software update that we'll see across every Kindle is some new insights to reading metrics. This is something that I've been really hoping Amazon would do for a long time now. As it stands, you cannot go on your Kindle and see any kind of metrics for the amount of books you've read, number of pages you've read, or anything like that. It's very bare bones. The only way you can check any of these metrics
metrics is by using the Kindle app on your smartphone. Over in the world of Kobos, they've had these kind of features now for a long time, these reading insights natively available on the e-reader itself. And I really do hope the Amazon ecosystem will have that soon enough. I would love to see how many pages I'm reading or the number of books I've read directly on my Kindle. Any other kind of insights would be really cool as well. The other kind of update that I would love to see across all Kindles is the ability to have reading challenges and achievements, these gamification features directly on the Kindle. Again, they have these awards and badges across their other Kindle apps, but they are not available directly on the Kindle. Actually, I take that back. If you buy a Kindle Kids Edition, I've seen these features available on the kids models. It's very strange. It's like it's a kids feature in Amazon's perspective. But to me, I really think these achievement unlocks and challenges are really useful for adults as well. If you think about it, if you're working towards a goal of some kind to unlock an achievement, you're much more likely to read that book that you have on your Kindle. So I think this would be in Amazon's best interest as well, getting people to read more and encourage them to gamify the process. So I really do think this is a realistic thing that we'll see this year. Another software update that I would love to see across more Kindles are page turn animations. As of right now, we only have this feature on the Kindle Paperwhite and the Kindle Scribe. And I don't know why they're locking this feature to these newer devices only. Hopefully we'll see them across other Kindles like the Basic Oasis or other Kindles from the past years as well. And maybe even some new animations. Right now they only have one type of page turn animation. I think there's potential for Amazon to make a few different options which would make turning pages just that much more fun. FaZe, I wanna thank you again for coming on the channel and sharing your Kindle predictions with us. If people wanna learn more about you and check out your content, where can they find you? Thank you so much, Manid, for having me on here. I had a blast talking to you, this was great. If people wanna find me, just you know, search FaZe Ali on YouTube and you will hopefully find me. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I talk a lot about Kindles and just digital reading, just like Manit. So be sure to follow me if you can and subscribe. Thank you once again, Manit, for having me. Looking forward to more collaborations. Thanks so much, FaZe. If you enjoyed watching this video, I wanna recommend checking out the collab that we did over on FaZe's channel last month. What we did was a very casual podcast style conversation, just geeking out about the new Kindle Scribe and the state of digital reading right now. If you're interested in that, link for the video on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.